why we're doing this is not necessarily because this guitar isn't good, but it's 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 time to revisit it and and uh, really look at the things that we thought were important 20 years ago and apply the things that that Dudley and the factory here have learned 20 years ago and just try and modernize it a little bit. And you'll see one of the things that we're playing with is the elimination of this pickup. That's yeah. For me, this pickup I don't use live. And I very rarely use it in the studio because it, um, it's more of just like a, a soft rhythm type pickup like you find on the middle of a uh, strap. The problem is, the way I had it wired, this three-way switch would often, in fact most often, default to the center position instead of down. Down is bypassing this. Center position means it combines this pickup with whatever you've got chosen between these two. So now, we'll talk about some of the differences here. Number one, obviously you see um, still a translucent finish and still a burst. Purple sunset, we call it. Okay. Uh, one of the things you'll notice about Steve's guitars anyway is that his pickups are set lower than most, most people's. Okay. Um, so what, what people tend to do is they get it and they get home and they say, well, at least pickups are too low. It, the pickups output are designed for the pickups to be lower. So if you really want to get some of the sound Steve's um, using, you really want to stay with pretty much the factory preset, how they're set. But what we did is we added some binding, which we're still playing with. What you're seeing is the equivalent of somebody playing in their rough mix today. Um, we added the maple top. It's, a, it's not just aesthetic, it's also to maybe brighten it up a little bit. Um, we don't want Steve going to the bench grinder anymore, so we put our uh, five bolt neck thing that we've been doing for quite a while. Um, an artist plays your guitar for 20 years and you send them new and they say the neck doesn't feel the same. Well, it, there are going to be nuances in sanding, but there's also the fact that 20 years of playing it, you know, that you are going to affect the shape. So what we've done is we've taken this neck, this old number one, digitized it and reshaped it so where it's kind of, um, and we did that when we were making the old, uh, what was that guy's name, guitar? Yeah. <laughs> so what we've done is, and that's, that's our trick, uh, we've digitized this neck so that when you get a Steve Morris guitar or play one, or the new one, the SMY2D, um, it will have the same shape as one that's been played for 20 years. <laughs> so what happened is we sent this out to Steve and the binding was sharp, because if you notice on this guitar, there's a real nice radius, okay? Um, so he's seeing, for the first time today, Dudley's um, design of actually a binding with the same radius around the edge, so it feels the same, um, and it has some uh, aesthetic appeal and gives you a nice transition between the maple and the painted guitar. So this is the first time he's playing it. Um, I think it looks great. It's, it, it, it gives it a 3D look too and, and it feels it feels like my guitar you know because it has this see a lot edge. of people want to know because so many guitars are sold with contours here and contours there um, is there a reason why you want to feel the guitar here and want to feel the guitar here yeah it's all about balance one thing about my guitar that I'm really proud of is this you let go of it and it stays exactly where you put it and also the to, it's, it's small enough to where it's, it's, it, it's easy to carry, real comfortable, and balances well without being too heavy. If you had a thicker guitar and a contour, it would feel probably the same as this one. If you cut away this and cut away here, like a Strat, then, then your hand is, is closer in and you don't feel like you're playing a full-size guitar. And I, I also play classical guitar and, and some acoustic, and I guess I'm just used to the, the classic hand position, or arm, right arm position. Uh, what happens is that when you carve it away, you change the picking angle of the guitar when you play it, right? And your, your anchor is a firm anchor rather yeah. than a smooth anchor. Because yeah. when he puts his arm there, it's anchored. Yeah, I can I'd sit there and hold the guitar just like that. Yeah. One of the problems that people have had with my guitar is I switch between the, the bridge pickup and the neck pickup a lot. So I put them close together instead of going from one extreme to the other, like that, I just do one notch up with a three-way switch, not a five-way switch. And um, 
to the pickup. You know, you point it this way, it points to that pickup. Okay, so Dudley put in a, a mod so that you can change it to the way that I use it or the way that's that's the rest, most common. The rest of normal people play. Right, okay. <laughs> the normal way. <laughs> and that's pretty neat because rather than trying to explain how it does, this, this switch just adds the, the bridge position to what you've got selected here. So if you selected the bridge position on the three-way, this does nothing. It just connects it to itself, which is a wire that's already there. But when you select the, the neck position, when you add that switch, you suddenly get both humbuckers. Just without. With, same with the single pull.